Okay, Aquarius, let's try this again. So I had all of your readings recorded um, two days ago. I recorded uh, Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius, yours, Pisces. <laughs> so Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn got uploaded. Yours and Sagittarius's and Pisces got deleted. We are in the middle of Mercury retrograde, so it wasn't a surprise to me. Although I probably should have saved them in a backup file on my phone, but I did not. So lesson learned, we don't ever give up. We just keep going. So we are going to keep going. Um, so I am going to do things a little bit different. This will be your twin flame reading for the month of August. I will probably do one at the beginning of the month, maybe at the end of the month, depending on how time works for me. I definitely am going to be more present on my channel and uploading a lot more. Um, so I have my standard tarot and I'm going to do two cards for your energy, two cards for your person's energy, and a card for advice from spirit. And then we are going to pull messages from your person from the love oracle. We will pull a numerology card for you, and then we're going to end with a getting into the vortex card from Abraham Hicks. Uh, Abraham, Esther, and Gary Hicks, um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I love Abraham, Esther, and Jerry Hicks. Um, Jerry transitioned and is no longer on this earth plane, but Esther is still very much channeling for Abraham. Mm, that is my son's foot, if you do see he's in here. Like I said, he loves to be in here when I record for some reason. I don't know why, but he just likes to be in here and to lend his energy to my reads. So I've already cleansed our space. I've already invited Archangel Michael in. And um, so we're ready to go. My energy has been cleansed. Um, thank you for being here with me. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. Let's rock and roll. Aquarius, two cards for their energy and I'm going to leave the cards face down so that me seeing any of the cards does not influence the reading. I will only be taking the cards that flip out so that way you know it's definitely your energy shoving out the cards. Whoa. All right. And two cards for your person's energy. One. And a final. Oh, that one flipped but it didn't come out just so you know. Um, two of Wands. So... Let's see if it comes out again. I actually did one reading where that happened. Like I was shuffling and the card flipped, but it didn't come out. So I was like, I'm not going to take it unless it flips out. And then it indeed flipped out when I was shuffling again. So I knew it was their card. So Spirit will let you know. Like if it's working on flipping out a card energy wise, it, it'll come out if, it's, if you're meant to hear it. Okay, Aquarius is person. And a message from Spirit, please. Advice from Spirit for Aquarius. Keep my little bell. That's where I use the sound cleanse. All right, let's dive into your energy first. We have Queen of Cups and Queen of Swords. What the hell? What the hell? Talk about opposing energies, Aquarius. What the hell? What in the hell? And what in the hell in Aquarius read is going on right now? Okay. So, Queen of Cups is about being open and receptive. It's about, what is my hair doing right now? Please, not today, Satan. All right, so it is about being open and receptive to love, right? Um, it's wearing your heart on your sleeve. It's being, you're holding your cup open. You'll, you are holding your cup out and ready to receive love, okay? And then we have Queen of Swords, <laughs> which is not necessarily a bad energy, but it's this energy of, you know, she has a sword. She's brandishing her sword up. She's like, she's pretty much, I would say, the opposite of Queen of Cups. So where the Queen of Cups is open, the Queen of Swords is also open, but she's more discerning with her energy. She's more like, you want a piece of me? Okay, well, what you got, boy? What you got? You know what I mean? What do you got? Show me what you got. Put it on the table first before I, I will say yes or no to your date offer, right? 
Um, she's more cerebral. She's logical. She uses her brain over her heart. Okay. Queen of Cups will always use her heart. So you are, you're in both of these energies right now. It's like you want to give yourself over wholeheartedly, but your brain is saying, are you sure you want to do this? So it's, it's a battle of the head over the heart. Oh my God. I should call your reading that battle of the head of the head and the heart. Oh, head and the heart. Well, who's going to win? What's going to win? Aquarius. I love you. Let's get into your person's energy. Oh my God, Aquarius. <laughs> I just gave myself a mini facial because the stress. Aquarius. We have the King of Cups and we have the Two of Cups. This is everything that you want to see in a twin flame, twin soul reading Aquarius. Oh my God. So your person is ready with the love offer. They're in their King of Cups energy. They're ready to offer some love. They look, they're ready to make the vows. They're ready to make the step. They're ready to commit to this union. It's union. They're ready to commit to this connection. Be careful, though, because your energy is conflicting. It's like one minute you're open, the next minute you're battling your heart. So, oh, my God. Let's get the advice and spirit. Okay, advice and spirit is seven of pentacles. So, take it slow. Please, it's, it's a slow, it's a, okay, I keep feeling this for you. In the last reading that got deleted, this is a slow burn type of energy Aquarius meaning you planted seeds they're growing it's taking way longer than you thought way longer than necessary if you ask me but here's where everything is going to fall into place let it burn slowly let it burn slowly if you if you're okay so look you planted the seeds in the garden you're not going to unbury them right away and go hello plant are you growing little pumpkin pumpkin Come on, grow faster. <laughs> no amount of water, fertilizing, asking, unburying is going to make that pumpkin grow any faster. You have to wait for the pumpkin to grow, Aquarius. Please let the pumpkin grow. Let the pumpkin grow. Let the pumpkin grow. Let the seed flourish. You've already done everything that you needed to do as far as this connection goes. Bless you, my love. So... The only thing left for you to do is to make up your mind about your energy. Stop fighting the connection for the love of God because this is your person's energy. It came out like this. King of Cups first. Boom. Two of Cups. Look, you have two of the best cards for the energy of your person. They are aware that you are their twin flame. They want to make the step towards you, right? They feel it. They feel it. They feel the connection. You just have to have patience. You have to nip that Aquarius tendency to not want to be patient. And you have to be patient. You have to. You have to or you're going to screw this up. Look, stop watching the plants for the love of God and go get a facial or a manicure or a pedicure or go golfing with the boys or do something for the love of God messages from your purse <laughs> go hang out with the boys hang out with the girls you know do something to take your mind off of this pumpkin please and i'm not meaning literal pumpkin it's a metaphor oh my gosh so welcome to my sacred space of love and healing if i forgot to say that for you healing for sure all right messages from aquarius's person messages from aquarius's person please oh we i am leaving this the cards face down so that me seeing the cards as i influence the reading see this is how you guys know that the energy that i'm reading is real because i a lot of readers will lay the cards out 
face up and then it influences the whole entire read right because they see ooh love and then they're like oh and then the whole read is about love because they're in the energy they're thinking of love right i don't do that the cards are all face down so i flip them up that's how you know that's your sh that's your shit right that's your stuff okay messages from your person first card we have is reciprocity i want to have equal give and take see they might not have came with with the goods before they might not have had that equal reciprocity they didn't give as much as they should have now they're saying we're given they're given you're both given to the connection it's all right gossip i'm afraid of what other people will think so there's something that that is could possibly be holding them back you know there might be an, a, a, um, a huge age gap. There is in most twin flame connections, like you're older, they're older, they're younger, you're younger, whatever the case may be. They're saying, you know what? In the past, I let it hold me back. I was worried what people were going to think about us. And so I wasn't giving into this connection, but they're ready to give into it now. I can feel it regrets i wish this never happened see they're like trying to go back in time they're like oh my god i let all of these 3d things get in the way i let the fact that i was worried about what other people were going to think and what they were going to say and i didn't give enough to this connection and now they're like it's time to rewind they're in there's so much shame and your person needs to get out of that shame energy because that just lowers our vibration as well, right? Holy moly. Let's get a numerology card for you. And I love you too, buddy. And then, um, thank you. We're going to end with a getting into the vortex card by the beautiful Esther, Abraham, and Jerry. All right. What is the numerology card for? Aquarius. Wow. I just got super hot all of a sudden, so that might um resonate somehow with you as well. Oh my god, Spirit gave you two cards, and I'm I was gonna put one back, but seems relevant for both of them. So we have 71 health. Um it's number eight. Again, of course, like the energy of eight is so prevalent right now with the eight eight Lionsgate portal. But so there's going to be an improvement in health, whether it's for you or your person. I don't know, but someone is um, working on their health. All right. And we have number 78, spiritual career. Wow. So I feel like you've made a choice to stick with like a spiritual career. Now, this could be your person's energy. They could be doing something in regards to spirituality which has propelled them into union with you. But it, to me, this feels like because you've chosen the path, you're like, this is the path I'm going to take. I'm not de deterring from it anymore. Like, I know that this is what I want to do. I want to pursue this spiritual path, right? This spiritual career, whatever it is, whether you're a Reiki healer or a sound healer or um, a, a tarot reader, whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever it is that you do that... helps you in your spiritual journey but also helps others it's whatever you do that is of service right why does it look like I have no lip oh my light's not on <laughs> sorry about that Aquarius um I was like why can you not see my lip you can't even see my face it's because my light was off why does this seem so bright okay so there's whoa that's okay so I had on this second dang it hold on Okay, so there you go. Um, eight and seven is 15, so add five and one, six. Wow, and six is the number of spirituality. You can't make that up. So yeah, I would follow, follow the spiritual path because, you know, that's what's bringing the union in. Like, I feel it in my bones. Your union is right around the corner, Aquarius. Oh my God, please claim this energy. Please claim it. Please claim it because it's happening for you. Like you're, don't doubt it. 
Doubt is going to mess it up, Aquarius. Don't doubt it. Believe it wholeheartedly with all of your soul. Claim the energy. Okay, we're going to get your Vortex card because I, I can feel it. I feel it. If I'm wrong, come back and comment and say I hate you and don't ever follow me again. Don't subscribe. Don't like. I'm not wrong. Okay, I feel it. Your union is right there. You just got to claim it. You got to believe it. You got to feel it. Feel it. Feel it. It's already here. You know, Abraham, Esther always channels for Abraham. When you ask the universe for something, it's already done. That's what she always says. It's already done. The universe has already said, okay, wish granted. You just have to trust that it's on the way and become a vibrational match to it. That means staying happy and staying aligned and not allowing things to derail your vibration, right? It means staying in the vibration of gratitude and abundance and doing the things that make you happy every single day until, boom, your prize falls in your lap. And in this case, the prize would be your union, right? Oh my God, and Spirit literally gave you two cards from this too, okay. I guess, let's read them quickly. My attention to unwanted can't defy the law of attraction. If your life has caused you to ask for an improved situation, no matter what it is, and you no longer and you are no longer offering chronic thought vibrations that are opposite of your desire, your desire must come to you. See, I just said that. See, it's it's like I know what the hell I'm doing or something. But you cannot continue to keep alive within you vibrational patterns of what you do not want and receive what you do want. That defies the law of attraction. So like I said, do not focus on the fact that your twin flame is not here. Focus on the fact that you already know that they're coming. That's all you have to focus on. Okay? When you get out of alignment, turn on some love readings and just watch them and 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 like focus on the feeling of being loved. I love you too, baby. And that'll help you to feel loved and happy. Or watch romantic comedies, right? That'll give you in the vibration of love. And if it starts to make you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm so sad my person's not here and you're crying and you're like, then that's getting you out of alignment. You, The idea is to stay in the alignment of like what it feels like to be loved and nourished, okay? So if it makes you feel all needy when you watch romantic comedies, then don't watch them. The idea is to feel happy, <laughs> Happy and loved. Therefore, in the vibration of what it feels like to already have your twin flame with you. All right. Okay. I can attract relationships that agree with my desires. Boom. People are not finding it difficult to find the mate of their dreams because that person is not out there. But because of their own contradiction to their own desire... In the thoughts that they offer about the subject every day. See, that's what I said. People are focusing on what they don't want instead of on what they do want. When you consistently offer thoughts about your future relationship that feel good while you think them, that means you are consistently matching the desires that you have discovered as you have lived life. And under those circumstances and conditions, only someone in agreement with your desires could come to you. See, once you say it feels really good when I'm loved like this, when you're watching whatever romantic comedies you watch, like Bridgerton or um, Sleepless in Seattle, and you go, I want to be loved like that, just like that. Someone with that similar traits and vibration has to come in like that because you're saying, that's what I want. You don't focus on, oh, nobody's here. Nobody's ever going to love me like that. You focus on, that's the type of love I want. And you say that to the universe and you say it out loud and then you let it go. And you go, mm, I'm going to be loved like that someday. And you smile and you're, ha and you're happy and you go about your day and you go get your espresso and you go to the spa and you go golfing with the boys or you whatever, you go have a beer or barbecue, whatever it is that you do that makes you feel happy and you forget about it and, you know, every once in a while it pops up in the back of your head, oh, sleepless in Seattle, that's the type of love I want, you know, that soul-burning type of love, Harry met Sally, whatever. And then, you know, it, it, it'll come in because what you're doing is focusing on what you want. You're focusing on being happy. You're focusing on golfing and 
spa treatments and you know what I'm saying? Espresso and happiness, okay? You're not focused on like being sad. All right, I love you, Aquarius. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your subscriptions. If you want to book read anything, all of the information is in my description box below. I love you so much. Bye-bye-bye.